Hi, so in this series of videos we're working towards building a terrain that uh, looks something like this. This is uh, near the end result. I've got a few more tweaks to do before I'm completely finished. Um, we've got to the stage where we've got a reasonably good terrain but the terrain textures are looking pretty sparse and they're not that clean. Um, so in this video we're going to look at how we can use Gaia to improve those train textures. Okay, let's get going. Everything's looking pretty nice all around, but there's a couple of things that I'm really not really keen on. Um, the first is the amount of sand that we've got down at the bottom here. This would look all right if we had kind of a beach thing going on, but this is a mountain lake. It's, uh, it's not a beach. So I want to sort that out. And the other thing I'm not really happy with is if we look up in uh, kind of this area, there's a lot of the... Um, the rock is showing through and not so much of the grass uh, texture. And I feel that that's not quite right. So let's fix that. Th those of you who have been watching from the beginning will remember that uh, we created this texturing by using the Gaia Texture Spawner, this thing here. Uh, and that defines all of the textures that we're going to use within our scene. Uh, so if I click on this up here, it pings it in the browser for in the project for me. And I can double click and I can now edit. Now as an aid to editing the uh, these texture spawners, um, we want to use the visualizer. So just pull back a little bit, and click visualize. And you get these dots. I'm currently visualizing where the sand will spawn. It's going to spawn everywhere. What I want to look at is where the grass will spawn. And you'll see there's almost no grass appearing here, no grass over here, and lots of grass here. And you can see that in the effect of the grass. So what I need to do is change the spawning rules that will bring the grass down closer to the water's edge. So let's have a look at how we would do that. Um, we need to open up the... Um, Nature Manufacturer Spawn uh, Resources, go into Texture Prototypes, go into Grass, and here under Spawn Criteria is the rules that define how and where the grass will spawn. And the first thing to notice is the minimum height, it will not spawn uh, lower than one meter above the water level. Well, that's not necessary, so let's make it a note. And you'll have seen, I'll turn it back in a moment, but if you watch the color of these, when I put it back to one, you'll see that they go closer to red. Oops, one. Okay, and I'll put it back to zero. So we're, when, it's not green here, so we're not going to get a full strength. It's about halfway between the green and the red. So it's definitely going to move down, even with just that one little change. But there's a few other things we can do as well. So, for example, if we click into this height fitness, you'll see that it's at zero fitness at zero, right at the water's edge. And it fairly rapidly, 0.011, so 1% of this range, it moves up to being pretty strong, uh, 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 effectively a 1 in terms of its strength. Now, I could just move this over this way, and you see that it's now going to give me full strength here, but that's a bit much. It's going to probably going to go all the way down. So what I actually want to do is bring it down okay, so that I've got the right effect here. Um, whoops, I've clicked off it. And um, have it come in a little bit more slowly so bring this across so we're bringing it down and then rapidly uh, more slowly rather to create a bit of a fade in at the top so we don't get a rigid line that's what i'm trying to avoid i don't want a rigid line between the two so we've got this kind of nice gradual so it's going to bring the grass much closer to the to the water but then it's going to fade in a bit more slowly than it was doing before so i don't get a vicious line between the sand and the grass okay so that might look better uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment but from a visualization point of view it looks okay i can check a little bit more detail by moving the visualizer down you can see it gets quite red towards the edge there so that looks kind of good to me okay so that is good 
Uh, now I want to move up the hill here to where I was talking about those rocks showing, it, showing through too much. Let's move the visualizer up a little. Um, we see we are spawning plenty of grass here. So we're still visualizing the grass and we've got full on 100% grass here. But also if I go to the rocks, we have a lot of rock coming in. And you, interestingly, there's not so much rock here. So if I turn the visualizer off and you keep your eye on this piece here, you can see there is more grass in this area than over here. Right, so we can see the effect that's happening here. It needs to be a bit more, a bit less green even than this in this whole area around here. But up here, we definitely want it to stay going into the brighter greens so as it merges into the full on rock at the top. So, how do we do that? We go to our nature manufacturers, we close down the grass, open up grass two and start playing around. Okay, slope fitness is one thing that we can look at here. We are bringing in the rock even at a zero slope. And actually, if we reduce that significantly, the grass will automatically start taking over. And, and there you go. You're not seeing any here because it's it's within below the 30 degrees. 30 degrees is perhaps uh, a bit much. There we go. We're getting better here. Um, here it's quite slow piece, so we'll get a lot of rock showing through. But here we're not going to get any, even on these two pieces here. It's going to be much grassier. And as we move up the hill, it is going to get a little bit more intense with the rock. So this looks pretty good, even as it is. So let's turn off the visualizer. Let's go to the spawner, click spawn, and see what results we get. <laughs> So there you go. Still got the rock here, as we said. The grass is looking good over here. Blends well. Let's go up the hill a little bit and check. My guess is it's going to blend fairly well. Yep, you see we've got this flat area here is looking good. But here we've definitely got the rocky bits shining through, fading in to the rocks at the top. It's a little severe at the join here. Um, better down here, but this is a bit severe here. We can look at that another time maybe. Down here, yes, this is looking a lot better as well. It no longer looks like a beach. We actually have the grass fading in down to the edge of the water. Much better all round. So let's play. So now it's looking much nicer. We have some nice lush grasses there. The rocks are not quite so severe. But this is what we're going to end up with as we work through the rest of this series of videos. Here you can see it's looking really lush. What we're going to do next is we're going to work on the textures again, this time using a tool called Procedural Worlds Complete Terrain Shader. What that's going to do is really liven up those textures and make them look fantastic. So, see you again soon.